Catherine, thank you very much for joining me today. How are you doing? Thank you very much. And thank you so much for the occasion to talk uh, in the interview while not being in Barcelona. So thank you so much for that. And yes, I'm very good. It's my pleasure and it's always very nice to talk to you. Um, so of course you uh, tend to work on Chebyshev methods uh, in, um, you know, in research and ap applications, um, but you know, in, in a world where you know, adv uh, advancements of machine learning and computational technology sort of take a lot of the center stage, um, how do you think uh, Chebyshev methods fit into the current cutting edge research? Yeah, thank you so much for the question. So I think that Chebyshev methods, they are um, a dream in numerical methods because they, they are kind of a sharp knife in the kitchen of toolboxes. So it's um, highly accurate and with, with very low effort. And so they fit in very, very, very nicely. Uh, first of all, in areas where we didn't um, try it so far for simple tasks, such as simply interpolating functions and uh, computing sensitivities along with them. There has been recent advances by Andrea Pellagincini and his co-authors in this direction. And then um, I think we will see in the future a lot of more um, merging of Chebyshev as this sharp knife appearing inside bigger tools, so advanced machine learning tools who will um, fuel up by uh, Chebyshev methods somewhere. There has been, for instance, a recent work by Christoph Schwab, who looks into uh, deep neural networks, combining it with Chebyshev interpolation. And I think they will appear in both aspects further. So in a very direct way and in, uh, in enhancing advanced further um, computational tools in finance. And so what we are looking here into is more a basic approach where we use where we combine uh, Chebyshev interpolation with dynamic programming to give a new set of pricing uh, tools where Chebyshev really appears as this pure knife um, sim with its simplicity and uh, highly accurate, um, efficient uh, numerical aspects, stability, efficiency. Um, so this, this appears here to give a new alternative pricing tool. So it's the knife of all knives, really. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, recently you've been looking into, uh, into uh, applications of Chebyshev methods to the pricing of callable bonds. And now callable bonds pricing has not necessarily been studied that much in detail in academic literature. Why do you think that is? So I think that, so first, if, if we in academia develop a new method, then we often look at a generic um, application, for instance, a Bermudan, um, call, a Bermudan call, uh, put option in a stock context. And uh, so that is also what we've done first when developing this dynamic Chebyshev approach. And then um, we wanted to get further into the industrial use of that method. And we joined up with um, Mikhail Soloveitchik and in, set up an internship of a PhD student in his group back then to really pick up a problem out of the real life in the bank where um, it was a need to get more efficient methods. And um, so that was callable bonds because they are um, used in practice, of course, a lot. And uh, yeah, so here we, we looked into how does it, how does the method really apply in a context that is really driven by the industrial need. Yes. And as you say, um, because it, it addresses uh, such a crucial problem in, in practice, um, how do you think that this method will impact traders' decision-making and the risk management process around callable bonds? Yeah, so callable bonds here, they have they, um, they um, are an example of a wider class of products where we think it will be useful. But so um, in any of these methods, uh, in any of these problems, the method will help the trader and risk management 
to get um, the, the values needed faster and in a more stable manner. So the trader ha can have more of the, of the, of the uh, figures he wants in real time and the same for risk management. So one can produce faster, accurate um, risk numbers in, 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 in real time if you want. So you can just produce more in shorter time. Um, so tell me more about the approach um, in terms of innovations um, in this field. So um, what, what, what is it that you can do now that perhaps you wouldn't have been able to do before? Yeah, so what the Chebyshev method does is combining the dynamic programming approach to um, American option pricing or Bermudan option pricing, which but which can, of course, because it's a dynamic but backward time stack stepping, can be used also for pricing many other types of options. So it's an, the alternative approach to PDEs, um, which is well known. But what is new here is that how we how we really um, approximate then in each time step um, the the conditional expectations that we need. So typically you do that with Monte Carlo in a long stuff Schwarz setting, but here that's not necessary using the Chebyshev interpolation. It's just that we have to compute them on these conditional con um, expectations at the end for the Chebyshev polynomials, which then in a non context of normal models, so driven by normal distributions, they are available even explicitly in more complex models where they are not available explicitly, they can be computed efficiently and in a pre-computation step. So you, we separate the time stepping from, from the model ingredients and the option ingredients. So the time stepping um, happens after having all which carries the model information, for instance, either in explicit form or pre-computed form. And then uh, the, the, the time stepping scheme is really, really fast and fits exactly as a PDE time stepping scheme extremely well into things like exposure cal calculation because we have the whole path of the prices. So you have the whole price function available. Um, and yeah, the big innovation is that this method is now, so we have the dynamic programming approach, but it's disentangled from the cho choice of Longstaff Schwarz. So you don't need Monte Carlo. And even if you do so, you can make it much more accurate beforehand and you have a much uh, lower computational cost. So we have comparisons with Longstaff Schwarz. We have comparisons with finite differences and um, we see a really high increase inefficiency by the use of Chebyshev in this manner. Catherine, thank you very much for sharing uh, your insights uh, with us today and uh, we hope to see you next year. Thank you so much, Lily.